and welcome to another installment of Hamilton Mechanical. Today we have a Husqvarna Rider 970 and it has dawned on me that a lot of people do not know what this mower is and have never seen one before and so I want to kind of give a little overview. I'm sorry I don't have any footage of restoring this one but we're kind of coming a little late into the game and I've been working on this one for the past couple months to get it ready for my brother-in-law who purchased this mower back in May and it had been severely neglected. It needed pretty much everything. Belts, bearings, blades, you name it, it needed it. It ran good, but uh, the steering didn't work, blades didn't work, and now we have all that functioning again. So let me just give you a little overview here. This is what's called an articulating riding mower. So this mower turns in the middle, the engine powers the rear wheels, and the deck is in the front. This mower is the only Husqvarna mower that is manufactured in Sweden and imported to the United States. The rest of our Husqvarna riders are made by a company called Electrolux, which is who makes Poland. And so if you look on the back of your rider, it will say division of Electrolux or, or something to that degree. Whereas this rider, if we zoom in here to the model and serial tag, focus there. You see that that says Ryder 970 Husqvarna Sweden. So if you're ever buying a piece of Husqvarna equipment and you look at the tag and it says Made in USA, it's not really a Husqvarna. It's rebranded. If you see Husqvarna Sweden, that is an OEM product and you are getting the real deal. So while we're back here, let's go ahead and pop the hood. Now this is about a 94 model. So this is a standard 12 and a half horse Briggs of that era. Uh, nothing fancy there. Nothing y'all haven't seen before. Down here, you can see these cables go into the back. And that, that is what pulls the rear wheels. It's a very simple design. There's a piece of bicycle chain that goes around the sprocket at the steering wheel. And two cables attached to that and pull the back end of the rider to which direction you want it to go. Now, I'm going to see how much of this deck I can show you guys. There's two levers here. There's one for blade engagement and one for height adjustment. And it doesn't look like we're going to be able to show you a whole lot in here because I've already put it all back together. But as you can see, we painted the deck, painted the pulleys, um, all new belts. You can see that piece of bicycle chain right there. That is what lifts the deck. And the deck is supported in the back by these. We can get a good angle on it here. By these big torsion springs. And that big U-shaped frame, there's a spring at each side, and that bicycle chain in the middle, and that's what supports the deck. So of course that was broke, and we had to uh, machine down a piece of pipe and weld that back together. Thank you, Joe Hamilton, for welding that together for me. And we can see kind of the belt set up here. We've got one belt that runs just the deck. we got one belt, that, one belt that runs from the deck to this middle pulley, where it articulates. Then we have a second belt that runs from there. To the motor and that's the one that actually gets tensioned to turn the blades on and off and then there's another belt that runs from the motor to the rear end for motion drive so one two three four belts lots of belts and they're not cheap belts either but now that it's all right it should last a long time it is a three blade setup these very small blades this is about a it's a metric deck but it's about a 40 inch cut deck and most of these had a timed deck so that these blades would actually overlap and had to be timed so they did not hit each other. And there was a shear key in each side of the blade adapter. So that makes six shear keys at $3.99 a piece. And if you hit something, you sheared all six keys, which got a little expensive after a while. So I'm, I'm kind of glad this one doesn't have that deck. It leaves a real nice cut still. And uh, I think that'll be better for the longevity of the ownership of this mower. So we had a lot of stuff to straighten out. Um, this hole you see right here was not an original hole. Someone had re-drilled that. And this piece was bent. 
that bracket was bent you can see I've got that as straight as possible um, and it has this frame that goes around the entire mowing deck and that's what the height comes off of so when you lower the deck that frame lowers down and then I don't know if you can see that there as you lower the deck it lowers down in that outer frame and then when you disengage the blades it lifts it all up so we got plastic floorboard this seat is off of Murray <laughs> we made that work as you can see there that's bolted it to it and you can kind of see down in here maybe maybe not there we go that piece of chain is for the that's for the deck see that one move no I'd be pretty hard to see the steering cable there this is a very this is a very simple mower now this mower retailed for around I think about six thousand dollars when it was new and these were really made for mowing orchards that's what they were designed to do but it's a very simplistic very basic mower and if you take good care of them they last a long time but unfortunately when we got this one the deck was rusted all the bearings were out all the blades were bent all the belts were wrong idler pulleys have been swapped out for idler pulleys that were not the right ones they tried to use cable from home depot to fix the steering which at twenty dollars a cable just buy the right parts folks fix it right make it work it's a great mower it's a wonderful mower and it's going to make this guy very very happy to uh to have this now i will show you one thing real quick that kind of surprised me a little bit these wheels right here as you see pretty worn out or, you know about as wide as my finger $65 a piece holy crap I think we're gonna try to come up with something different but for now we're just gonna let them ride I think we are in this mower for about $275 worth of parts and he paid about $275 for the mower so he's in it for a little bit but it should last a very very long time it's a very simple design and whatever goes wrong with it we can fix it and it's been pretty much completely rehabbed now and it is ready for a new life up in middle tennessee so real quick before we end this video i'm going to try to hop on this thing and ride it around to show you how it drives so i apologize because the uh, quality of the video is probably about to go downhill quickly so let's hop on this thing because this is just a really cool mower pivoting in one spot. As you can see, very little weed eating required. <laughs> One last thing I wanted to point out, check out this e-brake action here. It's just a little metal rod that sticks out and holds on the brake pedal. 
This mower does have a clutch separate from the brake and there is no brake safety on this. The safety for starting is actually built into the, the gear shift so that when you come to neutral and pull back that is safety and right there it would not start. And when we got this mower all the safeties have been disconnected and they've now all been reconnected because we need people to be safe gas tank right there and all the controls I think that is pretty much everything I can show you about this mower now they did make these in an all-wheel drive hydrostatic variety if it was hydrostatic right here where this pedal is you would see two pedals a big round one and a little one and that is your forward and reverse and those can be two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive but the hydrostatic I would prefer it but beggars can't be choosers and this five speed no matter what goes wrong with it we should be able to fix it so this mower if kept out of the weather should last another 20 years easy easy peasy but anyway i want to thank you guys for watching this video if you like it please uh drop me a line comment like subscribe all that fun jazz um and hopefully we can make some more of these videos and hopefully i will get better at this as we go but once again thank you for watching and everybody have a wonderful day thank you